Well, medical experts say in-person learning is safer than virtual, and the latest data proves it. They briefed Greenville County school leaders. Yeah, Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live this morning at Wade Hampton High School with some of the details on what was shared. Grace. Well, doctors told the Board of Trustees that it's not inside classrooms like the ones here at Wade Hampton High School where students are coming in contact with the COVID-19 virus. They say it's happening once they leave the classroom. Dr. Allison Eckgard of the Medicine University, Medical University of the University of South Carolina says that that's what the latest data is showing. She says that most transmissions take place during after school events. She says basketball has been very problematic because games are played inside. There's a higher rate of droplet transmission. She says routine testing could monitor this better, but she says the problem is not just sporting events. Eckerd says students and teachers need to avoid gathering in groups where they aren't social distancing or wearing a mask. Activities outside of school really have been shown time and time again to be the main driver of transmission in cases in schools. We need to do a better job of getting buy-in from everybody because what you do outside of school matters. Eckerd says that masks are an essential part of the fight against COVID-19 and along with social distancing, she says those are the two most effective ways to stop the spread of the virus. Now, coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll tell you what the district said about getting these high school students back to full in-person learning. That's all coming up in the next 30 minutes. Nicole?